Hello and good tag everybody, I am Fitz and welcome to another video about the Oculus Rift. Today we will not take a look at the game, but at an Indiegogo campaign by a group of smart people who are trying to uh, raise funds to create a cyber therapy. So this is about phobias, but nothing like you've seen in one of my previous videos with the spider crawling up my skin or uh, the darkness floating knives or a velociraptor invading a personal space. This particular group tries to develop a therapy to um, fight acrophobia, the fear of heights. As with most phobias, people who don't experience these kinds of effects themselves tend to underestimate it, um, how, how it can affect your mind and your body. I for myself then suffer from acrophobia, but I still kind of relate to it, because when I take a look at my previous video about the roller coasters I was uh, riding, I had a list of reactions my body went through when recording those videos. My pucometer wasn't made up and so weren't the effects I stated uh, at the side of the video like the sweating. So this is something that comes close to what you might feel when you have a fear of heights and yeah, try to go over a high bridge or something. So let's take a look at the current prototype called Lift. Um, it's pretty much just that, it's a lift in a small room that gets higher, higher and higher. You can stop it at any time, up to three times, and those heights get recorded and sent to that database for further analysis. So um, yeah, let's jump right into that. So here we are um, in the demo. This is their prototype Lift. And yeah, this is no game, there's no quest, you just yeah read the text and step onto this platform, uh, which will take you up there and uh, if you suffer from acrophobia um, this will not be as easy as it will look in this video right now because with every meter you're yeah getting higher and higher um, your fear might kick in and make you problems and when this happens uh, the game tells you to press a button on the controller um, to stop and you can resume up to two times so um, those three stopping points which get collected uh, will be sent to their database for further analysis and the game also eventually stops when you reach the top and I guess um, this is a different experience when I'm like sitting uh, I guess this is a completely different thing when you're standing as I said uh, the game will exit when you reach the top of the elevator and you will brought to a website where you can share your experience how you felt uh, how it was like to yeah, help them develop their prototype even further so that's about it. As I said, this is just a prototype of their work. Um, of course, this is just the beginning of a long way to develop a real uh, cyber therapy, but um, I really like the idea that there is more uh, being developed besides just games and other weird stuff that's popping up lately. So yeah, if you have enough games and have funded enough games, maybe throw some money at those guys to support something that may uh, lead to something that can help a lot of people uh, who suffer from phobias like this. So um, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, I know this wasn't about games, but still something I was thinking was worth taking a look at. And yeah, if you have a suggestion, write down in the comments and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Until then, see you next video. Bye bye and auf Wiedersehen.